you're fresh back from this two-year world galloping vacation. How do you feel your day? What do you do? Anyone know that's the question? <laughs> so what's the answer? Maybe he knows that's the question, okay? He's asking you the question. Well, what do you mean? What would I do with my life or what would I do tomorrow? My God, either. I have to do something constructive. I have to do something about my health. Some of you make me feel good. I know. That's fantastic. Yes, she's not thinking about herself, she's thinking about something which would make you feel good. I wake up tomorrow morning and I go over to Gabriel Capital. I would ram my fist at the flat of his nose. Just one good uh, punch, one good. That's amazing. It's about time. That is so great. Where did this come from? You're the one that's always defending the guy. So cool. Mm. My husband. Be careful. Let's do it. <laughs> Did you call pest control? What? You don't want a bunch of dead baby birds up there, do you? They don't sound like birds. She thinks there are rats in the attic. What'd you do? I wouldn't. Just for fun. I still would. Now we're really trying to imagine it. I'm not going to pretend like I know anything. Okay, about paradoxes. You know, or what follows them. And honestly, I don't believe in that group. You're going to kill your mom. One of you is going to do something wrong without seeing the other one. You know, let her understand it gradually. Maybe do some real estate shopping. For now, though, if you want to, you can just tell her you had a good day in the market. You don't understand. No. But we'll explain it to her, and we'll all just take some time to figure out what's next. Right away, I think she'd be building a bigger box at the side yeah. of the room or something. At least more than one person can fit into it. Who? Hey, hey. Medical issues, you know. This isn't normal for the machine. No, for people. You think it's a machine? I I got it. Again, you should run some tests on yourself, you know. What? When you walked in, what would you say? You really didn't tell anybody? No. All right, Rachel's like boyfriend walks into my uh, birthday party with a shotgun. Yeah, hey, we're already got that speech prepared. No, but well, you're gonna get it from me. You have a wife and kids. No, no, no. It's funny how you two are the only people have a problem. You can't go risking your life, and especially the welfare of Karen and Warren, someone like Rachel. Why? Right. She probably really begs for this to happen to you. You see how different you are. Yeah, but how do you see it? You see it, okay? I know you do. I don't know. What do you mean? Well, it's just a little embarrassing. The stores you've got sees us come in together, but never sees us leave. No! <laughs> yeah, what do you think the receptionist thinks about two guys that uh, come and get a room for six hours every day? Do you want phone? You're going a little crazy, guys. I don't know if we can blame the machine, your ambition. They were annoying, now they are annoyed. Nothing is entertaining. Man. Oh, the phone! That's what I want to, to know. I uh... the network checks each area. When it finds the phone, it stops ringing. It only rings the first one. Are you sure this is how phones work? No. You feel alright? I feel fine. Do you? Yeah. I'm not sure you do, both of you, in fact. Well, we can do this, but we have to do it now. Do you have his home address? Why now? I wonder if I'm not taking a trip for my life, just like that. Half an hour ago, I was asleep. 
Just call them. These kids are out staying by and they're trying to block. So I'm going to go right now and come back to right before those kids are setting off the alarms. All we, all we really have to do is say we're playing sides and scare them off. So now we have a double sleep through the night. Uh, they don't have the conversation we're having now. And they get in the box tomorrow as usual. I had to go back that far. The machines haven't been running. You already? Yeah, I uh, started going by at 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. Just got tired of the whole night. Well, this is an experiment. Are we doing this for me? Well, about 5 o'clock. I don't care about why, I Sounds care nice. about the fact that he's doing stuff on his own since a long time now, like uh, other things that we don't know about. Are they your new self? Like six. Uh, he's just sitting there. He got out for a second and uh I don't know, I thought he was coming over and he got back he got back in the car. I think he's drunk. Hi, Mr. Granger. Thomas Granger. You can't see each other, you can't see each other if I'm right. Story or exit, depending on your reference. Because when Aaron came. 
back the second time. It wasn't so easy. He wasn't expecting me to play for a fight. And by that time, he was too exhausted to take me. I understood that he simply wanted it more, that he just had more invested. And so I left. He had already performed the task as I had intended to. on your own and all even your friend doesn't trust you at 100 percent maybe we can get to go without him knowing we definitely can i mean he leaves it in the truck uh before he goes in I mean, we don't even need to but if it makes you feel better what's wrong with our hands your hands why can't we ride like normal people huh i don't know i can see the letters Ah, I thought that you were just really bad at writing, but it's really something. Yeah. And once the details have been successfully navigated, there would be nothing left to do but wait for the conflict. Maybe the legatory last minute moral debate, until the noise of the room escalates into panic, and eventually he must have got it perfect, and must have been beautiful with all the praise and adoration he had coming. He had probably saved lives after all. Who knows what would have happened if he hadn't been there? I know that things are bad. Okay. I know that you don't agree with what I've done. I know that you're upset. And to be honest, I'm not happy with you either right now. But you know that you're I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I don't know when I it's spoke for the last time. I have the impression that it was a long time ago. We have to steal our own passports. I was too preoccupied, you know, by what they were doing. I'm saying here. Why? What is happening at the same time right now? So is this attic? We've been building our own boxes the other day. And yours already knows what they built. The box he was building won't work. He's got it wired wrong. And if they fix that, I'll start actually taking pieces out of it. And your double will say they have to move on to something else. And I will agree. They're friends. You're saying why? What possible reason could there be to be here? And I guess that it just won't go back far enough for you. Go out there and do whatever the hell you want. There's no way in the world I can stop you. No. And don't come back here. And don't come near them. Any of them. In the version of you? You know that I love complicated movies, clearly, you know that I love puzzle movies, puzzle shows to try to understand them, making theories, and I'm fascinated also by people who can 
write a story that no one thought about before and really who are making so many who are bringing so many narrative arcs and putting them together and giving clues little by little for us the viewers to discover the answer little by little or only at the end to have a big reveal a big surprise you know that i love puzzle movies shows you know that I appreciate also time traveling situation. I watched and reacted to Tenet with you guys. You saw my reactions and my thoughts about it. And clearly I can think about plenty of other shows and movies which are using time traveling. And I appreciate them, even if they are not all great, you know, because for some of them, in fact, things are not functioning and are not respecting the rules of time traveling situations. I appreciate them. But this movie, I have the impression that it was not only a puzzle movie, not only a time traveling movie, I have the impression that it was something else. It was also an independent movie in the sense, you know, that kind of independent movie with how it was made, you know, with how it was filmed, with how it was edited, you know, like the scenes cut together. The fact, for example, that we're beginning the movie, the 21st minutes, no one is explaining anything. We don't have any description of the characters, who they are, not even their names, their backgrounds, you know, what is truly their life right now, what they are doing, what is truly that project that they're working on. I think that really the 21st minutes, you have no description of anything, the situation, the characters, the context, nothing. And how it's filmed also to, to be with the characters, to just listen to them. It's not really to follow them, it's more to, to listen to them like that. And how it's edited also all of the scenes together all along the movie. It's really made like an independent movie. So see, it's already three different types of movies together. A puzzle one, a tra time traveling situation one, an independent one for how it's made. And it's also something else with... It's not just a puzzle game, it's... It's a movie which doesn't want to be a puzzle movie. Like, it's making it so hard for the viewers to put all of the pieces together and to be totally honest with you guys right now. I'm not sure that I put everything together at the end. For sure, all of the first half of the movie with them creating that thing, discovering what it can do. After that, the fact that uh, Abe, he created uh, an entire box to put himself into it and he already tested a lot of things. And then the test that they made together, the fact that they used it to make a lot of money. The fact that they got bored of it at some point to just do that with it and they began to imagine what they could do more with it like can they change stuff into the past in fact they're present because of that can they do other weird stuff like that they began to to go a little crazy about it and they began also to have consequences on their health because of it so for sure all of that first part of the movie, I understood everything, but all of the second part of the movie, when Aaron is beginning to create his plan, and at first we can't know it, and it's only at the end that he's explaining that since the beginning he was planning something, and in fact all of what happened was a part of it, but uh, you know, all of the record situation, you know, he was listening to to himself, seeing what happened, what people said to each other and all. So he could make his plan happen. To be fully honest, I'm not sure that I understood everything that he did. I understood, you know, what happened at the end, the fact that they intervened during that party, the fact that clearly Abe was against it, the fact that now he's okay to run away, to never come back, uh, the fact that they are really not on the same page anymore about things and all, because of all of that plan that he did without telling it to Abe and the consequences of that action. I understand, but I'm not sure that I saw, I understood, I connected 
all of what he did else, you know, to, to make his plan happen. Like for me, he killed people, he killed himself also. Do something like that happened. And all of the situation with Mr. Granger, all of the situation with... I don't know, like... You know, at the end of each movie that I'm discovering with you guys, I'm used to say, okay, that's a movie that I would love to rewatch, to, to put myself into a good mood, or on the contrary, that's a movie that you can watch once, but not twice, because it's not necessary, it was fun, it wasn't interesting once, but that's all. Clearly, that's a movie that I would want to rewatch to try to understand even more things. Like, like I said, for all of the first part of the movie, I think that I have everything, but for all of the second part, I think that you have so many layers inside of his plan, Aaron's plan, that at the end, I'm not sure that I have them all. The second time that Abe is trying to talk to you while you are on that bench. It's new ape while old ape is looking at you like meaning that one ape oh, that you really mess with time. Like if the second time it's Abe from the present talking to Aaron from the past who is in fact uh, doing all of that and it's Abe from the past who is looking at you see <laughs> meaning that you're seeing all of that to Abe from the past but Abe from the present is the one staying at the end no matter what but he knows that in fact that entire time you played him you know, at first we can be like Abe played a lot his friend because he created that big box to put himself into it without seeing it to Aaron. He, he did, you know, a lot of stuff without seeing it to Aaron and all, but at the end it's Aaron who made that entire plan using his friend without him even knowing it. Like, in fact, since the beginning, it was Aaron planning everything. But since how long, you know? When did it begin, in fact? At the end, he's going on another country, in France, clearly. The guy was talking French and he was giving instructions, okay? But he was giving instructions to do what? Are they implying that now the guy is gonna create stuff like that for bad reasons with bad people and all because clearly it was an engineering scientific situation right there at the end you know when he was giving these orders so I'm wondering what is happening for how it's done also how it's written how it's edited it's making me think of all of these movies from the beginning of 2000 like really for example just at the beginning, the fact that it was someone telling the story, beginning the story by talking into a phone, it made me think of all of these movies, you know, like Fun Game, like Fight Club, like putting scenes together like that, writing complicated stuff to denounce something and all. Like, for me, for how it's done visually, again, and how it's written, not the story, but the rhythm you know, of the story, how it's written. Again, not the story itself, but how it's written. It's making me think of this movie from the beginning of 2000. Fight Club, it was just before that. It was in 99, I think. But yes, it's making me remember that. So clearly, this movie is really a mix of a lot of different movies. Like I said, it's a puzzle movie. But a puzzle movie which doesn't want to be a puzzle movie, which doesn't want to be that simple. For how it's done visually, it's an independent movie. For how it's written, not for the story itself, but the rhythm of the story, it's made like all of the movies from the beginning of the century, you know, in 2000. For, for sure, it's a time-traveling movie. 
for sure it's a sci-fi movie but it's not that much sci-fi for me I don't know why because we are talking about guys in suits who are just talking together and doing their little things on their own you know when you're imagining a sci-fi movie you're not thinking about that and I even talked about it during the movie itself the fact that they are boring guys you know if you think about it if you're meeting these guys and you're talking with them you know at a bar at a restaurant at a party or anything like that these guys or even at work if you're working with these guys you're gonna find them annoying and boring as hell you know <laughs> so the fact that it's created like that also like we have no presentation of these characters no background nothing in fact, because of that, we are not attached to them. We don't care about them. Like, at the end of the movie, I don't care about them. I'm not emotionally connected with any of them. I don't care about what their true purposes were, you know, and to judge them or not, because I never connected emotionally with them. I never got attached to them, to truly their lives, you know, if they would accomplish what they want, truly or not. It's a movie that I watched, but it's not characters that I appreciated or not. It's not that interesting. You know, the characters themselves into this movie that are not interesting. It could have been uh, a woman, two, two women together. It could have been a woman and a guy. It could have been really uh, whoever you want. It, it would have been written the same. Like, uh, it could have been uh, Philip and Robert, it could have been Philip and Roberta, it could have been uh, Aaron and uh, Georgia, like, uh, who cares? You don't care at all about who are the characters, truly. It could have been written for anyone and everyone. Even more because they are normal, boring guys. <laughs> It was a nice movie. Like I said, I would want to rewatch it at some point. Uh, not tomorrow, clearly. <laughs> but you know, at some point, and when you're into a good day, you know, and you have the mood for it to think about stuff, you know, it's not something that you're watching just to be entertained by it. But uh, yes, I would want to rewatch it, this one. To, to see if I'm gonna pick up more clues and all. Just you know the fact that I'm gonna rewatch it editing this reaction video. I'm already interested by it because I know that during the editing I'm gonna understand more stuff about it. Okay, cool, really cool. Thank you for suggesting me to, to watch this movie. That was an interesting one, clearly. Okay, it's all for you and for me for today. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.